Hi, my name is Jia. I'm the battery evaluation engineer at Dixonmark. Today, I'd like to talk about the USB Type-C cross-charging compatibility for smartphones. USB Type-C has been around for a while, and is pushed by the USB implementer forums as the standard universal port for many electronic devices. A recent ruling by the European Commission stated that by the fall of 2024, all electronic devices sold in the EU must support the USB Type-C connectors in order to reduce the electronic waste. There is more than just to sharing the same USB Type-C connector. The charging protocol also plays an important role. To provide higher charging speeds and ensure user safety, a lot of manufacturers have already implemented their own fast charging protocols. However, the EU ruling requires that the USB-C power delivery, the protocol standardized by the USB implementers forum, needs to be supported on top of the proprietary protocols. Brands have different strategies to adapt their proprietary protocols to the EU standard. That's why sometimes we can see some compatibility issues between different devices and chargers. For example, a fast charger like this can support up to 125 watt using the device's proprietary protocol but will only reach up to 45 watt with the USB power delivery protocol. The same charging protocol actually supports different connector types, for example, USB Type-C, Apple Lightning, and the others. Apple recently introduced the USB Type-C port with the iPhone 15 series. But how did it handle on non-iPhone chargers? We run tests to verify the compatibility between the new iPhone 15 series with multiple chargers from different brands and the third-party chargers, including the original iPhone ones. Our results show that the latest iPhone 15 series is compatible with most third-party chargers and other brands. There is no significant difference in charging speeds. The iPhone 15 Pro Max drew around 28 to 30 watt maximum during the charging, while the iPhone 15 drew around 22 watt. We even noticed that the peak charging power with certain Android USB power delivery 3.0 chargers were slightly higher than original iPhone chargers. We hope this video brought you some new insights into the world of charging and clarified some of the confusion around USB Type-C connectors. Let us know about your smartphone charging experience in the comments below and see you next time!